Yay. Are you like me and you learn everything you know from YouTube or other online tutorials? Well, I just finished Joseph Berry's tutorial on Webflow interactions, and I want to give you a rundown of what I learned. This is Joe Barry. If you haven't heard of him, he's pretty big in the Webflow community. He makes a lot of really nice websites, and he specializes in uh, very smooth interactions and just making things look beautiful. So I'll show you what I made. Well, here's his portfolio. Uh, he's got a nice horizontal scroll here and has some really nice brand names that he's worked with and just always has really nice designs. So I figured I would learn from him. He's got a site on Awards Academy or a course on Awards Academy. So this is the one I took. I don't remember exactly how much I paid for it. I, I bought it when it first came out. Uh, and I actually gave up partway through because I wasn't good enough at Webflow at the time. But uh, about a year later, well, not a year later from when I bought the course, a couple months later from when I bought the course, I was able to complete it the other day. So I'll give you a little quick tour of the course in a second. But first, I want to show you what I built. So let's see. Pretty happy. Oh, he's talking to me. I'm going to turn him off. Get back to that. But you can see just as you're scrolling, lots of different things going on. It's got a whole custom. This is a completely custom tab section. A uh, marquee effect going on here. This is a really nice kind of card pop-up. I turned this into just a little personal, personal portfolio site or something I could showcase um, my capability with Webflow interactions. Nice little mouse section down here. Some other little animations, pulse animation, and then a cool 3D effect that he has going on here. That's everything I built. I was pretty focused on just learning all the fundamentals. Uh, you can see he's got actually the, the site that he uses in the course is clonable, so you can go clone it. And I mean, you probably wouldn't even have to go through it all, but you'd have to do a lot of pretty thorough inspection. It's, it's quite complicated. Uh, but you can see kind of how uh, his design skills are a lot better than mine. But, uh, you know, all the animations are there kind of of, of what he taught. And there's, there's a little bit more, too, with links that he takes you to uh, if you want. But those are the two sites. This is the course here. I'll show you. You know, he's got a welcome. He goes over animation principles pretty quickly. And he gets into the meat of it really fast. Um, the way it's structured, he builds everything out in the HTML and CSS and the styling, and then he spends um, the second half going through all the animation. You can see some of these are quite long, uh, 33 minutes for the fourth module here, 35 minutes for the first module. Uh, and then he's got a little bunch of other little things, the 3D experience here, card hide and reveal, scroll jack. He's even got some bonus content. And a mega menu build, the, the animation there is an hour and 42 minutes. I actually haven't gone through this one yet. But yeah, very thorough. Really liked the course a lot. There was a ton to learn. And what else is there to show you? Let's see, I took you through my site. I took you through his site. So some things I really liked. I liked that there's a large amount of content in the course. Uh, as you can see from here, there's just, I mean, four hours, one hour, one hour, one hour. So it's worth the price, if you ask me. Like You get plenty of content for what's delivered. I like that he does a lot of different techniques. So if you're familiar with the Webflow interaction pane, I mean, he basically uses every different interaction that's possible in Webflow. So page triggers and element triggers. Uh, he goes, you know, we use all these in the course and then multiple page load and page triggers, that kind of thing. I think there's only like one line of custom CSS in the whole course. It's all in Webflow. I think I already mentioned that. But um, you know, he doesn't do custom code. He does all his animations in Webflow. And it just reminds me how powerful of a tool it actually is. I find myself leaning more on tools like GSAP or external JavaScript libraries as I've become more comfortable in code. Um, but he does it all in Webflow. And yeah, you can't ignore that it's, it's very powerful. He gives you a lot of resources. You know, he gives you, I decided to try to style mine more like myself. I didn't want a big picture of Joe Barry on my animation showcase. 
So I made some of my own assets or just downloaded stock photos just to try to make it look a little bit different. Um, that's always a struggle in tutorials, right, is making yourself look a little bit different. But back to tons of resources. Um, I mean, he's, he's got a bunch of downloadable resources. Again, he's got animation principles. So there, there's just really a lot in here that is worthwhile. And you can submit when you're done. You can submit your site to his Hall of Fame, and he'll add you. He's also got a, a personal Slack, so he'll invite you to the Slack, and you can go ask questions there. So I'm probably like not even thinking about some of the resources that are offered when you purchase the course. And then he's active on Twitter. You know, I was posting about finishing up the project and how I had uh, given up my first time at it, but was having another go. And so he's, he's uh, very approachable and I appreciated that. Some stuff I didn't like is that it starts off with a doozy of intro animation. So we can go, well, let me, I'll go to the video here. I think you can just see this is the, uh, this is the landing animate one. So you go through and you you structure the whole site. And then the first animation he shows you is the really involved intro animation where half of it he's actually designing with the intro panels in front. So you can't even see what you're working on. So I wish he had started with a different animation. I mean, it makes sense to start with the intro. I get why it went that way. But uh, definitely was hard to pick up when you can't even see what's going on for Webflow being such a visual designer. Uh, and then what screen resolution does he use? I mean, if you're trying to see, I had to, normally I'm pretty comfortable having like a side-by-side. -side. I have a 16-inch MacBook Pro, but with his course, I had to put it on my um, big monitor so that I could see everything. So something to keep in mind if you are working on like a 13-inch laptop screen, think hopefully you have like a, I don't know, a tablet you could view this on or another machine because uh, I found I was a lot more productive when I, had it on a larger screen to look at. And then I kind of touched on this already, but the flow. So he does all of the HTML and CSS here, and then he does all the animation after that. What I actually ended up doing was I would build a section of the page and then animate it and then build another section and then animate it. And I thought that was a lot nicer because I would it would reinforce the concepts each time as I went. So and then if you're also a little bit beginner or you're struggling with the, the part one like I was a long time ago, then um, maybe just like skip that part altogether too. Uh, it's, you know, you can kind of take it in little chunks if you want. So it's just, I mean, that's just saying that it's challenging. Um, I, I said I didn't like it, but you know, he's very, as he goes through, he'll tell you like, this is gonna be a long section. The other section that's really difficult um, or quite involved is this custom tabs component. There's a lot of custom or just like really detailed absolute positioning and structure of parents and children within the HTML. But if you get it, then it's like it makes a lot of things click. So uh, that was that was a really fascinating section, although that was definitely the longest one for me. Uh, just recapping, you know, if you're intermediate at Webflow, this is a really great course to beef up your skills, in particular, your animation skills. It will confirm whether or not you understand absolute positioning and uh, basic basic position and layout things for styling your HTML uh, with CSS. It's good if you're okay with getting in the weeds at times. I mean, just look at this uh, animation, he, but you get really comfortable with it by the end, having these big animation panes. And then if you want to stay in Webflow, it's, just, it's all in Webflow, like you don't have to touch custom code or worry about it at all in this course. So really, um, it's a really well-designed course in that respect. Definitely recommend it. And that's my review. If you have any questions, be sure to ask below uh, or just reach out to Joe himself on Twitter. I'm sure he'd appreciate it if you signed up for his course. All right, that's it.